now with more on what will hopefully be a better day than yesterday. Yeah, I think we're heading in the right direction, Patrick. Temperatures will be just a few degrees shy of what's average for the end of March. Start with the pick of the day. This one's still snowy scenes being sent in here, even through the late part of this month with Tara Anderson of North Kingstown. It's a pretty shot uh, as with a snow covered roadway and trees there. We're still even tracking a few flurries this morning on live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. You can see them just approaching 395 and even a few flakes may be visible in northwestern suburbs here. Not expecting it to slow you down if you're heading into work or school this morning, but still a sign of the atmosphere trying to shake off that storm system that passed well to our south yesterday. I want to show you a snow cover map. This is from yesterday, so you can see how much of the northern part of the United States still blanketed in snow. Now we don't have any snow on the ground left here in Rhode Island, but we've been stuck in this colder pattern. I mean, just compare this to last year where you had to travel up into well up into Canada to find any snowpack on the ground at the end of March. We were in that uh, unusually warm stretch of weather for much of the month of March. Well, this end of this month still averaging a little cooler than normal. It's 34 right now in Tiverton, 36 in Coventry, mostly cloudy skies over western Rhode Island. Skies are a little brighter the further east that you go. So we're going to turn our skies partly sunny through the rest of this morning. Warm coat at the bus stop by the afternoon, probably a windbreak or a fleece will do the job as temperatures climb up into the upper 40s. Satellite and radar showing those flurries and light snow showers trying to still drop down here. Notice the back edge of the cloud cover moving down across northern New England. So we're going to brighten up as the day goes on today in our future cast. Maybe a little bit optimistic with the sunshine this morning. We are looking at partly sunny skies this afternoon. A couple of sprinkles or a flurry still can't be ruled out out of the clouds even this afternoon and then overnight tonight clearing those out. It'll be a dry and chilly night. You wake up tomorrow morning and the temperatures will be cold. In fact, we're looking at temperatures through the rest of the morning, climbing up to about 39. Slow clearing, cool north northwest winds 10 to 20 miles per hour this afternoon up to 48 degrees. A few gusts in the afternoon, still 15, 20 miles an hour with that mixture of clouds and sunshine. And then we finish out the day tonight down to about 31 degrees, mainly clear, cold and dry. Seven day future cast, so more of the same for tomorrow. Highs in the upper 40s. Tomorrow night we may see a few snow showers that will pass through here. Uh, maybe enough to dust the ground. That'll be about it. And then rain showers possible mostly Thursday morning will drizzle and extra clouds around. We may finish out the day with some sunshine on Thursday and that'll extend into Friday. Pretty average day Friday. Mix of clouds and sunshine. We're fighting off the clouds each of the next four days, and then it looks like improving conditions into the weekend about 50 on Saturday, Sunday 53 with sunshine. A next chance of rain and a significant rainfall would come Sunday night into Monday. Right now, it still looks like the daylight hours of your Easter Sunday will be storm free.